The developer that's considering, I, I'm, I'd like to tell you up front, I'm in communication with the Finkelstein brothers. There is interest in that property. It's not dormant. It's not laying fallow. Councilman Kennedy, you, and through the chair, Councilman Kennedy, you were very heavy-handed in the way that you came into the last planning board meeting and pushed through the agenda to use eminent domain on that property. Right. Imminent domain. Can you explain on to me property. how that meets the criteria in any way, shape, or form for the use of eminent domain? Because every time the Finkelsteins make a deal with somebody, say the price is $20 million, then when it comes time to close the deal, it goes to $25 million. They did it with Lowe's, they did it with the other guy. Every time they had that property sold, they added 2 or $3 million on the closing, and the people backed out. Now they want hard money. They want 3 or $4 million hard money up front, and if the person who's going in front of the zoning board or the planning board doesn't get what they're proposing, Finkelstein's got to keep the money. Okay, and it's been like that for the last hard, 20 hard years. Money. What do you mean by hard money? Non-refundable. Non-refundable. Okay, so in order to give contract to the So now the they want $4 million up front, hard money. Oh. Well, so if they go in front of the zoning or planning board, whichever, whoever wants to put something there, and they don't get it, Finkelstein's keeps the three or four million dollars. Well, that's that's interesting, but I'd like to know what what does the council, what what makes you perceive that you have some right to develop private property that the taxes are paid for that is now clean because ready it's not, to develop. First of all, it's, it's not used. used. It's not used. It's the not taxes used. are paid. It could be more taxes. And you want to left well, but what what right is that of us to determine what because they do with their it, property? It's been vacant for. 30 I'm years? say 30 years. I don't know. It's been being cleaned for like 12 years. I, my business is directly across the yeah, street. I'm saying vacant. Vacant. Okay, that's, that's one, still that's not one criteria. It's still vacant. It hasn't been vacant since they tore the building down, which is shortly after they ended using was it. Was there anybody in it? Yeah, yeah they were using it. It was tire distribution. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. it was certainly used until they asked for permission to tear it down. So the, the, the point is, that it meets in no way the criteria of imminent domain. There's been contracts, viable contracts on that property where people were ready, they let it ready, they had a two-year contract with Lowe's, they weren't t seeking any tax abatements or pilot programs. They were willing to fund the development 100% on their wallet, giving us full access to the, to the tax rateables when they came in, which incidentally not involving uh, any residential would be completely tax money that we could use that would cost us nothing. It would increase no population requiring no increased personnel, no kids in school. It would, it would uh, pro provide this tax funding that we desperately need to offset the expense of residential. Jeff, you want to finish up, please? And then Lowe's wanted 28 million. The Finkelsteins raised Lowe's to 28 million, and Lowe's said adios. Well, then the Finkelsteins will continue to pay, excuse me, um, Mr. Esposito, was that about a third of a million or more in taxes right now? Uh, it's a little under that number. It's a little under a third? Yeah. Well, just just a, little little a million a year, every three years. You're talking about a million dollars right now as their property is being funded through their tax dollars. I can't imagine why they would want to sit on this indefinitely. And they do have offers. They do have interested parties. So for us to consider utilizing taxpayer money in terms of lost revenue for God knows how long for development that we don't need down there on a sensitive, flood-prone, you know, there's heavy-duty infrastructure down there. I know. All right, not a place to utilize redevelopment or eminent domain. Leave it to the market. Let them develop it commercially. That's your opinion. It is. Thank you. Uh, Cortland redevelopment, I'd like to conclude on this because yeah, you just this is industrial. You've been here 15 this, minutes. This is very, uh, it's not 15 minutes. Come on, Mayor. It's barely five. You got Cortland yeah. redevelopment. You got a slow clock. This is industrial property that is more likely well polluted. Everything on the east side of that railroad easement is industrial from one end of the town to the other. It's flood prone there as well. Why would we consider using eminent domain, which Looks like it's going to be an aspect I of the development. I don't think eminent domain was ever mentioned on that property. No, but you've got a re heavy-handed realtor going from homeowners and property owners telling them it's a done deal. The property has been sold, but we all know it's definitely it's contingency. Not, it's not been sold, right? Well, that's what they're telling. The realtor's telling people that it's sold, it's a done deal. People Who's have the left the area. Pardon me? Who is the realtor that's doing that? I'll get you the name. It's going around. It's there. right now. 
Uh, I don't have it in front of me. Oh. I'll get it to you. Oh, Tomorrow? I thought you knew. Yeah. Uh, no, I wouldn't get it. Sure. But the fact of the matter is, threatening people that it's already finished, and they've got to move, oh, and they better sell. Cash incentives to move. Well, there's, you can get, we can get uh, you know, eyewitnesses or ear witnesses yeah. Yeah. And to, to stipulate. It is a flood zone. The cost of cleaning industrial <clears throat> property to residential standards is astronomical. It's also why, under redevelopment and tax abatements, it deliberately cuts out the schools. There's no intention for residences on former industrial properties. That's why the schools get no taxes. So please don't consider that. Okay, Jeff, that's it. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you.